Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Choices, Finding Your Joy. Paula Vale here. I am so happy to share with you today just a fascinating young man. We have with us today Lucia Williams. He is a telepathic truth speaker, white fire healing practitioner, psychic development teacher, TV host, author, and musician. He's done just about everything. Lucia, I just want to say welcome. So happy to have you on the show today. Thank you so much, Paula. It is definitely my joy and pleasure to, to be sharing with you and viewers in this way. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I'm really excited to, to learn more about you and what you do. Tell us a bit about your background and, and what brought you to, to where you're at today. Absolutely. Well, you know, interestingly enough, I believe that I'm following in my ancestors' footsteps. Um, you know, I'll explain that in a minute, but I, I basically call myself a telepathic truth speaker, like you had mentioned, which basically means that I'm able to see people's past, present, and future, um, as well as past lives. Um, I can connect to loved ones that have crossed over in spirit, connect with spirit guides, angels, you know, things of that nature. And, and the goal there is really to bring about healing, peace, closure, and guidance, you know, genuine guidance, you know, and those that I work with paths so they can come back to self, you know, really come back to home. Mm -hmm. That genuine sense of authenticity and, and life purpose, you know, re revitalize within, you know, and um, that's, that's the reading work that I do. And um, I, I call myself a white fire healer as well because I've been gifted with uh, from creator and uh, the capability to help people to heal on a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, you know, level and plane uh, through this energetic practice that I practice called white fire healing. And it's, I mean, had very, very miraculous results, you know, with the modality thus far. And, um, you know, my background, you know, when I was a child, you know, 10, 11, 12, even younger than that, you know, that's when all of this started surfacing, you know. Um, I used to have very, very powerful dreams of past lives and wake up and, and, and you know, just be fascinated by that and, and see my ancestors and hear the Holy Spirit. And that's how it all started. And it was just very, very, uh, it was almost like uh, if, you're, if you're watching a movie that draws your attention and it's like you're not even in the room anymore, you're in the movie. That's mm -hmm. kind of and um, so that's kind of how I got started into this into this work and um, you know it wasn't until I was later in life you know I say later you know until I was 17 when everything kind of resurfaced you know and um, I just had no option but to confront it and accept my gifts and, and move forward yes. with them yes oh my gosh that just that must be life-changing to to have that you know open up to that ability and, and what you can do for others. Yes, absolutely. You know, um, it, it's just life, you know, it's beautiful. You know, I think that, um, you know, we're all keepers of gifts and talents and abilities. And, you know, I, I just love helping people to tap into their own as well as, you know, me tap into my own and help others with it, you know, because uh, I, I truly believe that, you know, when one person is able to rise everybody else can rise as well and so you know it's just a matter of helping you know and, and being a guide and yeah. uh, really sharing that light and that richness you know yes oh i love it i love it tell us about your tv show what what is the theme of that yes yes the, so i have a one i have a tv show local tv show here in virginia that is actually getting ready to re-air in about just under three weeks and um that show is called To the Light with Lucia. And um, the concept of the show is really, it's like a light worker's dream come true, you know. At least that's what I try to make it to be anyway. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a wonderful show, you know. It's, uh, I, I open it up with speaking on uh, a spiritual topic, you know, and I call it A Talk with Lucia, you know. And basically, we just, we share some wisdom and some, and some light on a topic that is good for bringing more uh, energy and zest into, into our personal lives and 
living it from a spiritual perspective. And then, yes, it's, it's, it's lovely. I love it. It's fun, you know? <laughs> and um, from there, I usually talk about a power plant, you know, and every week there's a power plant. And um, that's just a, a plant that can be used medicinally, you know, ingested or whatnot. That's good for our health, or it can be, you know, applied topically or whatnot. And um, from there, oh, I love I, that. Give us an example of one of your power plants. Okay, yeah. Um, a good power plant, I would say, would be like moringa, which is uh, a plant that is native to the Himalayas, and um, um, it's a wonderful plant. It's um, you know, it's very mineral dense, so it's got like almost all, like I don't know, there's like a hundred and like four hundred six something like that minerals. Uh, that the body, you know, needs or especially for the body. And I think Moringa has something like 84, 85 of the bone. Uh, it's very calcium rich as well. So it's great for the bones, you know, and for the ligaments and, um, you know, more density, calcium density than, than milk, you know. So it's great for people. Wow. Who yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, vitamin rich as well. It's, it's a super plant for sure. And a uh, great plant for... Um, those that are seeking more of a plant-based diet, but still would like to that um, they might get from other things that are in the standard American diet that aren't really uh, the most uh, beneficial, you know, most beneficial way to ingest or receive those nutrients or minerals or vitamins. So uh, Moringa would definitely be a really positive plant and it's, it's a great plant. It's a, it's a super plant. Where, where would I find that plant? Yeah, um, pretty much any health food store would have it, I, I would assume. Like, okay. I know foods would have it. Um, you could even go on online, you know, uh, just a Google search. You know, I know uh, there's a company that I go through, um, that I like to go through, that I found on Amazon.com. Uh, and I think it's called, like, Zen Principles. Mm -hmm. but they're, and they're organic and uh, great, just a great product. Uh, and... You know. Your show sounds really fun. So are you interviewing different guests? Yes, yes. That's probably my favorite part of the show, or one of my favorite parts, which is the interview with the local light worker. And that's just somebody sharing their light in one capacity or another. And hey, there's different definitions for a light worker that just happens to be mine. Yeah. Uh, and I love to be able to highlight, you know, people within the community that are sharing their gifts in one way or another. And uh, awesome interviews so far. So. I love, um, I love great it. Thing. We're and all just a team, aren't we? It's so wonderful. The network. Yes. Uh, so where would uh, the viewers go to watch one of your shows, Lucia? Yes. The, uh, the show, if you're not in Virginia locally, uh, will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, okay. which is Lucia Williams. And if you just subscribe, you can uh, see those episodes once, they, once they're uploaded. And uh, I think the show re-airs like April 19th, I believe, Wednesday, April 19th. So shortly after, um, you know, the five episodes, uh, you know, air, I'll, they'll be up on YouTube. So it'll be a great way to connect and, you know, see it and check it out. I love it. I love it. And you are also an author. Tell us about what, what have you written and what triggered you to write? Yes. Um, I love writing, you know, um, I believe that words are power, you know, they are a vibration in, embodied, you know, in a, in a form that isn't even really tangible, but we can feel it, we can hear it, you know, we can sense it, we can know it, you know, and um, I've always, you know, had a thing for communication. And so when I was like a child, I'd write, you know, little poetry or like little proverbs and things like that. And um, so I ended up writing my first book because um, I, I would just write on Facebook pretty much, you know, how when I was like in high school, just little verbs that would just come to me. And I, need, I really just needed a place to put them. And it was kind of like having a journal right there. But then people would, you know, come up to me, you know, uh, that I didn't even realize were, you know, looking at these things and would be like, hey, like, I love your stuff. And, you know, it's really uplifting to read what you write. And, you know, it, it changes my life and things like that. And I was like, wow, like, that's really incredible. And then as that kept happening, people would be like, so when are you going to write a book? And I was like, well, you know, I hadn't really thought about it, but I guess that might be a good thing to do. <laughs> yes. I did. And I, I wrote my first book, I think maybe 2011 it was finished. And uh, that's called The Wise Soul. 
the musings of a man in the spirit of wisdom. But if you just like type in the wise soul on Amazon. Oh, I love that title. I love that. So, so give us a little bit of what's in that book. Oh, I love that title. Yes. Um, so the book really is kind of like um, a self-help styled book. It's not so much a self-help book, but it's a self-help styled book. And that it's basically like a book of Proverbs, you know, just little quotes of wisdom that are designed to help uplift and enlighten and inspire thought within our within our being, you know, to um, really just get thinking about how we think about ourselves and how we think about our outside world and unravel the busyness of our mind and really get to the mm-hmm. core. And after the proverb, there's a couple of questions that kind of go along with the proverb to um, just kind of ex- you know, expand on what's being stated and and just provoke a little bit of thought and a little bit of ease, you know, get rid of some stress and just create a little bit of ease, like, you know, and and that's really what the purpose is. Yeah. We we affect our lives so greatly, don't we, Lucia, with with our thoughts, with the direction of our thoughts. Isn't that just powerful? Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right. Yeah. It's it's kind of like um fishing you know it's like you know people a lot of times you know seek to go fishing and catch great fish you know a nice you know size catch but without realizing it they don't even have any bait on on their hook and and if they you know just throw it in without any bait they're not going to catch what they want to catch they might not catch anything you know and so sometimes having those positive thoughts really all the time having those positive thoughts just focusing on what we want in life you know on the positive end of the spectrum you know it's like having that bait and then you know and you get a couple of nibbles and then, aha, you get that bite. And it's like, yes, you know, <laughs> that golden catch. And um, that's how it works. You know, it's foolproof. You know, I love that analogy. That is so great. <laughs> really? So you could say our thoughts and our positive mindset, what we put out there, that's the bait we're putting on the hook. You're absolutely right. <laughs> yes. Spot on. Yes. I so, love it. So true. Yes. Oh. I'm going to go out and I'm going to be a really good fisherman. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, you know? I love it. And then you can share your secrets with others, you know, and how you caught a wonderful fish. Yes. How many books have you written? I've actually written uh, two. Uh, my second book is just now being finished. Uh, I'm working on the illustration. And, um, you know, I don't want to reveal just, just yet what that is. <laughs> currently talking to uh, a friend of mine that has a publishing house and I'm evaluating my options as well, going the publishing route and, um, you know, seeing what to do with it. But um, I will say that it is a children's style book um, oh, I love it. With, for, for very gifted children. And without going into too many details, um, I'm so excited because uh, this book, it's, You know, I often find that when we do things that we're passionate about and that we really love in life, a lot of times we're doing it, you know, our ministry, so to speak, what our ministry is, is really we're ministering to other people, but in essence, we're also ministering to ourselves, you know? And I found that through writing this book, I've healed a huge part of myself. And I know that it will help a lot of other children that were in the similar shoes as mine, you know, that are gifted children and, um, you know, adults as well that have these children and really, you know, desire to have a way to, you know, have guidance or uh, insight into how to, to work with these gifted children. And, you know, so I'm, I'm through the roof excited for this book. So. Yes, yes. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. And you're also a musician. So tell us about that. Yes, I am a musician. Um, I'm currently the lead vocalist of a band called Chiefs of All Tribes. And um, we play very conscious music, very, um, we, our style is more like reggae, funk, rock, and hip hop. And um, we write, you know, the music is very conscious, positive, uplifting type music. You know, we really want to spread the message of togetherness, of peace, love, ultimately righteousness good you know goodness the good things in life and um you know we we were actually ranked i think number five out of the top 100 bands in richmond virginia um on reverb nation which is like social media for for musicians and 
we've gotten a lot of offers. Um, and, you know, right now we're actually in the process of scouting for a new drummer. We, we parted ways with our old drummer. And um, so we're looking for a new drummer. We're auditioning people right now, but we're still, we still got music up. And um, if you'd like to hear our stuff or see any of our live performances or our rehearsals, we record as well live, you know, um, you can find us on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way to connect with us, which is just facebook.com backslash chiefs like indigenous, you know, uh, leader of all tribes. So facebook.com backslash chiefs of all tribes. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. You are just so fun, Lucia. Oh, thank you, you so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Now yeah. tell us, so with your, uh, psychic development teaching and, and the work you do do you do you work with clients do do you help people one-on-one -on -one or is it more with your tv show and your music that you connect with people right um i do work with people one-on-one -on -one and and i like to you know anything that i do in my life uh work-wise or you know anything like that i really try to uh, make it my outreach, you know, make it part like an extension of who I actually am, you know, so it's not inauthentic in any way, you know, um, and so I do work with people one-on-one. -on -one. It's, it's, the music is just a way to do that as well, but also to, to give it a self-expression. Um, the psychic development teaching and things like that, um, I, I teach classes, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one students as well as, um, you know, group classes as well. Like I have an intuitive development class and we, we play fun games and um, meditations and exercises to, to help people to tap into their own innate intuitive abilities because everybody has intuition. Everybody has intuition. I don't care what anybody says, everybody has intuition. And we've all had instances in our life where our intuition has been spot on and we wish we would have listened to it and we didn't listen to it and something happened and it was like, ah, I should have listened, you know. Yes. And so, <laughs> You know, uh, my goal with that is to just help people to really be guided, you know, and, and develop further. And it's so much fun. It is just so much fun, you know. The key is to have fun, you know, and, and to let go and just not have super high expectations, but really just go into it with an open mind and just just have fun and develop. And yes. I think people do some incredible things and come very, very far and just develop as individuals just from, you know, doing something like the intuitive development and uh, it's just it's wonderful now lucia for for anyone out there that would like to open up and you know develop their intuition a little more any suggestions on what we can do for that yes 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 i would say um first and foremost and this is probably going to sound cliche but hey it's cliche for a reason is Listen to your gut, you know, nine out of nine times, it's not going to be wrong, you know, listen to your gut, you know, but also just get subtle, you know, spend some time, um, you know, really spending time alone or away from people, you know, like, for instance, Paula, you are very empathic. I can, I'm just by looking at you right now, I can tell you're very empathic, you know, you pick up on vibes very, very easily, you know, in your, I mean, your heart is like your guiding force, you know um you you stay in your heart as much as possible you know you're very simple, you're very you know you can, your mind works very well but but your goal ultimately is to stay in your heart as much as possible and it keeps you protected in a lot of ways from like you know negativity or things that um you know other people are doing or saying that might not be the most positive that you know kind of just feel sticky or uncomfortable but you know at the same time like getting subtle and like just spending away from all that noise and all you know just negativity or things like that and just coming back to self and just having time to reflect and say all right is this really my thoughts or is this somebody else's thoughts is this really feeling or is this somebody else's feeling and really just taking that time to just step aside you know whether it's once a day at the end of the day or even in the morning you know before you, the day gets started even better you know and and just decide like am I going into this day with a clear mind? Like, is, is what I'm thinking right now really my thoughts? Or is this something that somebody else has, has said to me or that I was around somebody that just picked up on this? Or are these my feelings? You know, is this something that I actually feel? And just distinguish, distinguish between what's ours and what's not ours. And if it's yes. not ours, letting go of it. That's a huge, huge key to developing intuition. That's like a, a foundational 
uh, building block right there. And there's many, many ways beyond that to develop, but that's really the foundation. Because we all have that. And oh my gosh, if we can develop that, you know, that, that can bring such guidance and direction for us, wouldn't you say? Without a doubt, without a doubt. And I think that's really what people want, you know, um, I found anyways, to just, you know, be all right, you know, to be all right. And, you know, you know, know what the right move is. And hey, if you make a mistake, big deal, like it's not a big deal, you know, and, and I even look at the word like mistake, like just breaking it down, like the prefix miss and then take like, just, you know, I mean, you think about like a film, right, you know, that's being created and you're on set, like you have takes, right? So if it's a take, it's just a take that isn't the exact take that we desire. So just move on to the next one and, you know, we'll have the opportunity to get it right the next time. So, you know, just develop that, that intuitive muscle and, you know, the next take will be better. I love that. I love that. And yeah, it is like a muscle. It is like a muscle. Do you have a favorite inspirational quote? that you'd like to share with everyone? What, what is your favorite, Lucia? Um, one that I've created or one that I've... Or uh, that you've read that's one of your favorites that, that you share yeah, with you? Uh, I actually like the fact that you've, you know, shared this opportunity to uh, have me on the show because, you know, with, you know, this women's broadcast, you know, television network, um, you know, I, I really resonate with women a lot, you know, um, I think that women are, you know, wonderful creatures and things like that. And um, it's been, we're here in the West, you know, as well. Um, and that's not to take away from men because I love my brothers as well, you know. Um, but I, I remember thinking about something that Dalai Lama had said. Um, and this isn't the, the quote exactly verbatim, but what he was pretty much hitting on is like the Western woman and what the Western woman means to the world, you know. And I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with that. And um, just that knowledge of, you know, the Western woman really being the catalyst for change, for positive change towards this more spiritual, enlightened, spiritually enlightened age, you know, this more heart-centered age, you know, you know the, that, and I don't know the quote verbatim, but it starts off with the Western woman, I know that. And, you know, the fact that the quote, you know, has um, run true for me and like I drew something from it just speaks volumes to the quote, you know, and that's a good, good quote in general. You know, that's that's what it would do. And um, I, I think it's very true. You know, it's very, very true because, you know, the, the feminine is the creative force, you know, of the universe, really. I mean, it's both masculine and feminine to come together to, to, to create. But, you know, the masculine is really birthed from the feminine in a lot of ways. So yes. uh, when we can get it in balance, you know, and empowering, you know, the feminine is. Yes. And there really is so much created by the right. feminine. I mean, we don't hear a lot or read a lot about it, but I recently uh, interviewed a guest who wrote a book on, you know, women from about 1950. Oh my gosh, so many things have been invented and changes made by women. And that's something a lot of us don't think about. So true. It's really exciting. It really is exciting, you know, and I think there's somebody like, I mean, everybody loves her. Like Emma Watson, right? Like she is, <laughs> she is a true inspiration. And I think about like other women too, you know, that are uh, just great barriers and just going leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that now we're getting more um, recognition for uh, women that are actually making changes, and, and it's just it's 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 exciting, and um, it brings me joy as well because. You know, I'm seeing um, oh, just feminine represented appropriately, you know, like, it's just, it's, it's very cool. It's very cool. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's exciting. And it's so awesome that, that you share such positive and caring energy, you know, with your music, your TV, your books, you know, you, you really are a beautiful vibration in the world. Lucia, we have about three minutes left in the show. What last information or inspiration would you like to share with everyone today? Um, I would say that, you know, no matter where you, you're seeking to go in life, you know, no matter what you're looking to build or, or have within your life, just remember the destination is found within the journey, you know. Um, I love that. 
it, it really is. And you know, don't anything stop you from. In, there's there's no in every moment you're either in every decision you're either making an excuse or you're making a way with love and you know that's just that and there's no if ands or buts about it you know and just keep going forward you know and as as far as you know whatever you desire you you can really have it and just there's no reason to um you know if you've been wrong there's no reason to you know, have to get back at anybody for it. Just, just allow it to strengthen you and, um, you know, be that light in the world. You know, there's, there's nothing more satisfying than actually living a fulfilled life. And, and the key to doing that is really just being authentic to self and not having to worry about what other people think or do or say or any of that. So definitely on the right track if, if you're doing those things. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. And, you know, that's such an important message to get out there. You know, so many shifts happening and energy changing and, you know, there's so much, it's so great to see the positive energy out there and the, the self-empowerment. It's really exciting. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, I would just say too, from a personal level, like I've got a lot coming up in the future. So look out for that. Um, and I've gotten a few network television opportunities um, recently from production companies in LA. Um, so I'm following up with that right now in the process of, you know, weeding through that and um, seeing where that goes. So I would, you know, love for you guys to connect there as well. And, uh, awesome. you know, the book. Yeah, I'm so excited for you. Just, oh, just thrilled. And so excited to, to have you on today to share with everyone. Thank I am you. just so happy. Please tell everyone briefly before we go, if they want to contact you, how would they get a hold of you? Yes, I would say the easiest way would be uh, either through Facebook or through my website. My website, which actually you can find on my Facebook page through my website as well. That would just be www.lights, L-I-G-H-T, of O-F, Lucia, L-U-C-I-A, dot com. So lightoflucia.com. And just, you know, shoot me a message through there. You can read a little bit about what I do or um, read what people have written about the work. Um, connect with me on Facebook as well. That'd be a great way. And the Facebook page is right there on my website. And let's connect. You know, I love connecting with people. And, and um, life is a beautiful love journey. It. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm so happy to have connected with you. Oh, oh just, just thrilled. Oh. And to everyone out there, love, hugs, and blessings. Thank you for joining us today. Lucia, love, hugs, and blessings your way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Bye. See you later.